When a life is in our hands, we don't get any second chances. I'm William Shatner. Tonight, true stories of courage under pressure and the men, women, and children who rise to the occasion on Rescue 911. We begin on January 27th, 1992 in Chesterland, Ohio, after two champion horses had just run their last races of the season. That's your step. I've had her longer than any other horse we've ever had. And I don't know why. She just always was that special one. She ended up making almost $100,000 for me this year that just ended. The filly setting limits and a coat were being taken to a farm for the winter by trainer Pat Mahoney. Some race horses are uh, very congenial. You can load them on with no problem. Some you have to actually uh, uh, give a little uh, tranquilizer to. In this particular case, initially loading them wasn't real easy. Susan Flores and her husband were traveling behind the trailer. It was obvious to us that the horse trailer was going slower than everyone else because everyone was shooting past it. There are times, I suppose, when they shift their weight, the trailer will sway a little bit. And that is probably not the safest way of transporting a horse. trailer started going left to right and at this point we are now getting excited I couldn't believe it it was just like a slow motion movie I was scared to death I see the trailer of course turned over and one horse really struggling to get out and at that time, I didn't know really what to do. I didn't want to let the horse loose for fear it would uh, go in the traffic. I, uh, I didn't want to keep it in there because I knew they were hurting each other. Setting limits was pinned underneath the coat. That horse was trying to sidestep the other horse, not trying to hurt it, but it was so scared that it was just boom, 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 boom on top of this other horse. And every time it would hit the horse's face, that horse would scream. The sights and the sounds were just unreal. When we continue. This filly was just flat out panicked and many well-meaning people have been killed by horses that are in a panic situation. 